Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. Hi, my name is Erin, and welcome to my YouTube channel where I like to talk about all things beauty, but I also like to do entertainment like movies, specifically horror movies. I really enjoy, they're like my thing. I just love it. I even have a, the Shining t-shirt on today. Um, and I've been doing some first time watches of a movies I've never seen, horror movies I've never seen specifically. And it's spooky month as well. It's October, I love it. Uh, Halloween's coming up and I'm still excited about it even though we're in the state that we're in right now in the world but all that aside I just thank you for clicking on my channel to see this video and if you're interested in either of those two topics beauty or seeing me talk about some scary movies definitely check out some more content on my channel but today we're hopping into the Pat McGrath Mothership Mega Celestial Divinity Palette that's a mouthful but this beauty came in the mail for me uh was it yesterday i think it was yesterday or the day before that and i'm so excited i did this look in this video and so if you're interested to see more about this palette as well as the eyeshadow look here on my eyes then just keep on watching <laughs> Pat McGrath Mothership Mega Celestial Divinity eyeshadow palette that just recently came out as part of the holiday collection. I'm loving it right now. The palette is different from her 10 pan palettes, which I own two of, um, and also different from, I believe, her six pans as well. This packaging is new for her, and it is a cardboard packaging, and I'm excited to try these shades out in here. All right, guys, here are some quick swatches I wanted to just throw in here of the palette. Alright you guys, I did one eye off camera, just the lid part. I'll do the lower lash line in a second, but I did that just to see what I wanted to do so that I can repeat it on this eye. So again, like I said, did I say it? I, I primed with the Pretty Vulgar Eyeshadow Primer um, that I've mentioned before in other videos. And then I'm going in with this pink shade here um, that is called, I believe, oh lord, what is it called? Dragonfly, I think maybe that's what that's that's called. But anyways, I'm going in with that into the crease and a little bit higher to start off. It's a really nice pink color that gives a nice wash over the lid. It's really pretty and so smooth and easy to use as usual with Pat McGrath shadows. I'm just using this brush from Modern City Brush. I don't even know where I got this from. I think maybe in a subscription box or something but it's really soft. That looks really nice, pretty. I am building it up a bit. I'm just building up nicely. So next I'm gonna go into this shade right here, which I believe is called Electron. Does that make sense? I don't know, or it might be Venomous Void. I don't, the sticker's a bit confusing, but I'm going in with that on the same brush. I just cleaned it off and I'm gonna put that into the outer corner but also blend it into the crease. Very pigmented. Showing up really good on my skin, which again, like I said, Pat McGrath, that's not an issue for me. From the two palettes, the two 10 pins I tried and the mini palettes I also have from her, or the six pans, I should say. That looks good. I'm going to take that pink again, that lighter pink, and put that just on the edges just to blend a little bit, but also not to lose that color. That looks nice. A little bit more. Okay, that's pretty. All right, then I took this shade right here which I believe is called oh, called Smoked Amethyst. I, I think that's called Smoked Amethyst. And I put it on my finger. I think her shimmers work best with finger. And I like that application method. I use most of my shimmers. Of uh, uh, Most of the time I use shimmers with the finger anyway, so. And I'm just putting that on the outer corner as my deepening shade for the outer corner. And then I'm gonna take a fluffier brush and just sort of blend it out 
Now, if you blend in out a shimmer shade, obviously you will get a bit of fallout, but I'm just keeping it light. So, and you can also just blend with your fingers, which is what I did in the second part, in, on the first eye. Is that how I want it? Pretty much, yep. All right, so then I took a tiny bit of the NYX glitter glue just a tiny, tiny bit before I put on the shimmer I want to put all over the rest of the lid. And I just tapped it on, like a, literally a little bit, just tapped on. And even wiping off the excess, just so that it can pop a little bit more. Because this shade definitely looks like it has a dual chrome quality. And I'm talking about this shade right here, which I believe is called um, Cosmic. So I think that's what that shade is called, if I'm reading the sticker correctly. So I'm gonna just take that again on my finger and just put that all over the lid and actually taking it up a little bit further than just the lid as well. And also covering just a tiny bit of that deepening, that deeper shade. And I put it a little bit in the crease. I'm not afraid if it moves a bit because usually with my eyeshadow, it moves anyways or sometimes it'll move anyway. So, and that's pretty much all I'm gonna do for that top lid. Now I'm gonna go to the bottom shades and I'm thinking I'm going to do something different on the bottom and not follow the same color scheme I have up here just to try out some more shades. There's 18 shades in this palette. So I wanna see if I can use as many as possible. This purple shade right here is just really, I can't even capture how pretty that is calling my name. So I think I'm gonna do that on the bottom lid with like this brown here. So I'm gonna take that brown shade. Um, should I use the same brush? I think I'm gonna use this brush because it's a little more dense and, but also I think it'll fit under my eye. So I'm gonna take that and just smudge that brown matte under the eye. Whoa, that's pigmented. Do see some fallout, but not a whole, whole lot of fallout. Okay, that went on super smooth. I feel like it definitely had a lot more, where I first placed it, there's a lot more pigment there, which I actually don't mind because I do like to deepen out this outer part here. Connect up here. It's kind of fitting perfectly with the top lid, even though there are different colors. It's going and blending oh, quite seamlessly. Oh, but I don't get anything in my eye. I have sensitive eyes, you guys. Okay, so that's the brown shade. It's quite dark, actually. Which is nice. Um, next, I'm going to take this purple, sh like shimmery, metallic y, whatever this goodness is. And this is the shade Fuchsia Shot, I believe. I think that's correct. And I'm going to use a smaller brush. This is the Morphe brush. I don't even know what it's called because it doesn't have a name on here, but it's just like their small little brush. And I'm going to pick that up with the brush. And I'm going to spray this one so that I don't have a huge amount of fallout on it. I'm just using in just a random spray that I don't use too much to do that. And then I'm gonna just place that all over, I think. That's pretty. I wonder if that spray is irritating my eye though. Ooh, that's so pretty under there. Okay. I think I'm gonna use a different spray because I feel like that spray just irritated me. Or just, I'm imagining things. Um, let me use this guy. So again, I picked up and I wanna go under the other eye. Ooh, 
it went a little far down, but what ifs? That is such, that is so pretty. That's so pretty. It's like purple blue. All right. Of course, we got to do an inner corner highlight to brighten everything up. I'm going to just clean off that same brush. And I think I'm going to take maybe, mm, I don't know, maybe I should do the gold. I think I'm going to take this gold. These are all pretty bold colors. Um, and they're beautiful, actually. Let me just dab a little bit of that in there. I should spray it. Again, going in with some spray just to intensify just a tad. Yep. All right, that's it for the eyes. That's pretty. I'm going to go off and do the rest of my face and I'll be right back. All right, guys, here I am back with the finished look. Oh, I forgot mascara. Of course I did. Let's just hop the other lash princess on. And this one never fail. This one never fails me if I can talk. I pop this on real quick to complete the eye look. Okay, I'm gonna go in with one layer because I'm too lazy to do anything otherwise and I just dropped this into one of the shadows in here. Of course I did, of course. Now I just got a dip in it. Lovely. Anyways, this is the finished look. I think the eyeshadow is beautiful. absolutely gorgeous so let's go through everything i put on my face before i give you my final thoughts on what i think of this palette side note got my new shirt on which i love look at the back i love it so random but love it love it love it oh i just also noticed i didn't put on any i didn't put on any highlighter no highlighter no mascara that will be that would be me. I did just get this highlighter in BoxyCharm. Let me try it. It's a highlighter palette or cheek trio from Realer. I think that's how you say that. Let me just slather this on real quick. I am all over the place. Well, now you know what I'm putting on my cheek here. I'm going to put on that shade Goddess there in the middle. Let's see what that does. There is a mirror in this little palette. I'm going to take this sheet off of it you can see and then dab oh that's pretty not super glittery just the right amount of shine and it's a pretty like gold champagne shade oh i like that i like that a lot Put a little on the nose just making that so flat here all right anyways let's go through all the stuff i put on my face for my base today i use the rare beauty foundation um in the shade 370n which i thought might be too something for me but it actually is working nicely i did have to bring it down on my neck a little bit because it was kind of a little bit off and then i have the concealer on the under eyes in 320 warm First, I thought this was too big of a jump, and it kind of is. I might could go a bit lighter on the foundation, but it's all good. It's not, I, I think that was appropriate jump. I think I just went one shade down, but it looks so much lighter. But it actually is not that light under the eyes. Um, for my bronzer, I have the Undone Water Bronzer in the shade 240 Sangria. Ooh, looks like this. It really does feel like water when you're putting it on. Show you guys a little example i don't know how i feel about this yet everything i've tried from undone beauty i have loved this i'm kind of iffy about it. i mean it did okay with the bronzing but i almost felt like it was just it's so sheer that it just kind of almost 
blends away in a way or it's very very sheer and yeah but I'll keep trying this out it's very affordable on the cheeks I got the rare beauty I just bought this actually when I first ordered these two I got a sample blush and I liked it so I went ahead and picked up a full one and this is one is in the shade joy I think this is their more dewy one you just saw the highlight and then for my eyebrows I have um, the ColourPop brow boss and the Anastasia uh, gel clear gel and of course on the eyes is this the star of the show the Pat McGrath's uh, mega celestial divinity palette um, so far obviously from just one use I really really like it I think the shadows did gorgeously on the eye blend it beautifully with the mattes the shimmers are blowing me away as usual and I just really love it and this is shimmer heavy which is good for me because I love it I think the palette packaging is nice it's not as looks as the tin pan palettes but um, it's still a nice it's still nice packaging and I do like cardboard packaging um, it has a 24 month lifespan and I think that if you're interested in sampling out Pat McGrath and you want to get a lot of shadows at once for a very good price for considering the rest of the brand I think that this is a great deal and I think the quality is is just like some of the tin pan palettes now you don't get those special shades which is something that is unique to the tin pans or her um, quads but I think that the shades that you do get in here are really nice and the dual chromes I always have fun with those so if you're interested to get some nice shadows there you go obviously $78 is not cheap for a palette of eyeshadow um, I know some people won't even go above 50 for an eyeshadow palette and that's perfectly fine too but if you're interested to try the brand there you go that's more affordable than 125 must say so um, also I forgot to mention lips I um, have two Pat McGrath lipsticks the first one I ever bought I did not like that much this is her matte formula and I don't think it's the formula it's the color which I can show you is this color here it just was weird looking on me but I just bought this lipstick on sale from Sephora and I like this color a lot more and this is creamier which I enjoy that type of formula more as well I like matte lipsticks but creamy is more my style and today I decided to just go ahead and mix them since I don't really like this color why not just experiment and mix it with colors I do like and I like how that turned out it's really pretty so that's those two shades mixed together so this one is lavish 410 and this one is uh, 1995 oh, 108 so those are the two lipsticks I have on and yeah that's pretty much it for this video you guys thank you so much for watching hopefully you got something out of this and some good information from about this palette as well as seeing a look with it I know so many people have done looks with this palette and videos with this palette so definitely check out some more of those um, online I know I just watched earlier Morgan Turner do a look with it and her look was so pretty so definitely check out some more videos like that on youtube and definitely also check out some more videos on my channel here if you're interested to see me talk about makeup or movies or anything like that definitely check out some videos on my channel i will link some in the description box for you guys thank you so much for watching stay safe adios